You're watching WMAR 2 News. The statistics on the coronavirus continue to get worse in Maryland heading into Thanksgiving. I'm Christian Schaefer. This is your WMAR 2 News update. The rate of coronavirus tests coming back positive now up to 3.75% up more than a tenth of a percentage point since yesterday. Start of November, look at that, 2.94, below 3%. Four more people are in the hospital right now. There's now 585 Marylanders hospitalized with serious cases of the virus, and 143 of them are in intensive care. That's 13 more than yesterday. 16 more Marylanders have died from COVID-19, raising the death toll since the start of the pandemic to more than 10,900 Marylanders. And after a failed kidnapping attempt this morning, Bill the Goat is safe not far from the campus of the U.S. Naval Academy. In a statement, the superintendents of the Naval Academy and the Military Academy at West Point confirmed that cadets from Army have returned a GOAT to the Naval Academy and that an investigation into who's responsible for taking the GOAT is underway. The New York Times is reporting that last week Army cadets took the wrong GOAT. An article published this morning indicates that on Friday, cadets visited the farm near Annapolis, which is home to Bill the Goat, the 37th goat with that name. You see the 37 there on his jersey. But those cadets took a previous retired Bill the Goat who still lives at that farm. In any case, both the current and the former Bills the Goat are both back home and safe today. The Army-Navy football game is scheduled for December the 11th at MetLife Stadium outside of New York. Stevie, I can report that Bill the Goat is doing just fine today. That's good. We like to hear that. And we like to see the sunshine. And we're actually going to be dealing with that through the afternoon. Temperatures are only going to be topping out in the low to mid 40s, but it's actually going to be feeling about 10 degrees cooler, all thanks to these northwesterly winds. They will be rather blustery throughout the day, sustained around 10 to 20, but gusts upwards of 25 to even 30 miles per hour at times can't be ruled out. We are going to be talking about clear skies as we head overnight and later winds towards the surface. That's actually going to help our overnight lows bottom out into the 20s as we wake up tomorrow morning. As we take a look at your Wednesday, not looking too bad. We're actually going to be rising a little bit in temp in the temperature department, lower 50s, 58 degrees for Thanksgiving. It's looking mainly dry, and we're going to be talking about some extra cloud cover building in as we head into your Black Friday as a strong cold front moves through 58 for Thanksgiving, 48 for Friday, and then heading into the weekend looking rather chilly. Meteorologist Stevie Daniels, thanks very much and stay with us online at WMAR2news.com all day long for updates on top stories and breaking news. For news weather on the go, you can download the WMAR2 News app from the App Store or just follow us on social media at WMAR2 News. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.